We end tonight at the Empire State Building, where many a love story has been set, but few as remarkable as this. Here's Tony DeCopo. Stretch those arms instead of relaxing them. For months, Roseanne Sedoya and Mike Materia have been training for the Empire State Building run-up, a race to the top of one of the tallest buildings in the world. How do you think you're going to feel when you come up onto that observation deck? I'll probably cry. I'll be glad it's over, big time. <laughs> it's an unlikely date for a couple whose relationship can be traced back to a hospital bed. I was sedated until Tuesday evening, and so when I came out, my mom's like, who's that firefighter? I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I was just blown up. In April 2013, Roseanne was watching the runners cross the finish line of the Boston Marathon. I heard and felt the first one go off, and then at the second location, the backpack was pretty much behind me by, I don't know, two or three feet. The second explosion destroyed her right leg and left her bleeding in the street. Three strangers ran to her aid, one tying a tourniquet to her leg, but it was Mike who held her hand all the way to the hospital. He was trying to hold the tourniquet and then me um, making... I'm trying to keep her calm <laughs> yeah. and myself calm. They've been together ever since, falling in love amid surgeries, doctor's visits, and the long search for a prosthetic leg. It was a whole new world to me in learning how to pick one. And funny enough, we agreed on each and every one of them. In December, Mike surprised Roseanne with a ring. And tonight, to raise money for other challenged athletes, they'll be racing up those Empire State Building steps together. I had a good life before all this happened, and I know I still want a good life. Bring it down again. And not long after her run up the stairs, she'll be walking down the aisle. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.